Happy birthday, friend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. Happy 19th birthday to us. Get bodybuilding.com signature birthday cake protein. Happy birthday to you. And 20% off top brands. What's up, guys? Chris Gaffin here and IFBB Pro, Leah, Leah Dolan. Dolan. Leah Dolan. I wish I could say IFBB Pro or something like that. <laughs> Got nothing. But we are back, both of us together, because last week we had such, was it last week or the week before? We Two had weeks. such a good viewership from you guys. It was like, well, this pairing obviously yeah. works. So we're back, baby. <laughs> and this time we're going to be hitting biceps. We got some various movements that you may not have seen before. And uh, we're going to finish off with a crazy set, which will require about 100 reps. I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're going to have to watch all the way through in order to see what we're going to get busted out. But you can follow this program. You can write it down, take it home with you, and uh, we'll take it to the gym and check it out. And we would love to know your feedback. And if you do have any questions in between the sets while we're taking a break, breather, Leah and I can definitely do that. So to begin with, we've had our pre-workout. I'm just going to mix up the intra-workout, which is in cage. So you should be hydrated throughout your workout. Your body's made up of around 70 to 80% yeah. fluid. Ladies first. Yeah, thanks. Full scoop? Yep, full scoop. Hit She's me. She's hardcore. Hit me. So you, you need to make sure that you're hydrated throughout the workout to make sure that you get good electrolyte function. Obviously, have an in cage to make sure that you still continue to get a pump all the way to the end of the workout and you're still focused and energized because I did not have much sleep last night, and I woke God, up very I. early. No, I got, I got to bed late. Oh, I oh hate man, that. I was up at four. Oof. But I always go to bed very early, but I couldn't get to sleep last night for some reason. I have no idea. Anyways, Me neither. so we're going to get straight into this with um, an alternate dumbbell curl with a variation of a hammer curl thrown in there as well. A little hard for me to describe, so it's better for me to demonstrate for you. All right, I'm going to start off with the baby weights first, just to warm up a little. Oh, you have wrist straps on too? Yeah. Yep. Got the wrist straps. So yep. Surgery, surgery on the second. Got to yep. look after a wrist, and so I've broken excited. mine as well. So I You've broken look. yours? Oof. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that feels really heavy right now. <laughs> All right, so to begin with, this is how we're going to do this, Leah. Come to my side and have a goosey gander. So what we're going to do is come up with a curl, and then straight into a hammer. And then the other side. Curl it and then hammer. This will allow us to get that bicep and then our choreobrachialis. Bicep, choreobrachialis. It will get your forearms a little bit as well. Your forearm flexes and then extenses. Got that? Got it. Easy, so I'm just warming it up a little bit here. That's your excuse for the light weights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a justification. Maybe I'm not gonna move up from here. <laughs> Aside. Yeah, but I'm just warming up now. I'm not counting the reps. I'm just making sure I feel that there's plenty of blood into the muscle and my connective tissue, i.e. my tendons and ligaments, and the synovial fluid I'm go. in my joints. And then once I feel like I'm warm up, which is a bit instinctive, then I'll get ready for my heavier sets. That's it, you got it. This is really light. Uh -huh. You just started using your caged muscle creatine. So maybe, can you speak to the benefits of creatine in general? Sure. Okay, Corey. So basically, taking the creatine HCL, which is what you've got from caged muscle, is a patented form which will help increase the output of your ATP, your adenosine triphosphate. The best way that I can describe that, let's say Leah gets to about 14 reps of absolute failure it could potentially help you get out that 15th or 16th rep, which is obviously, obviously what counts. So I always say you can get to Everest, base camp, but that's not the same as climbing Everest. It's the same with your workouts. If you get to 14 reps, but you could have potentially got 15 or 16, 
that set is almost wasted. So it can help you get out a little bit more. And with the creatine HCL, you don't get the fluid retention, you don't get the upset stomach, you don't get the gas. Uh, so that's why I prefer that micro dose, which you're gonna find in pre-caged and re-caged anyway. Oh, that long camera. Okay, so ready, <laughs> get into this. Yeah, you I'm ready. ready. For the heavier I'm not going, set? Yeah. Okay, let's do this then. You don't go super heavy on buys though either, do you? No, uh, really ne ever since, ever since my shoulder, Yep. No, no, no more ego lifting. And since I got old as well. Okay, can you sing so we've got some tunes? <laughs> you do not want me to sing. <laughs> it's horrible. And the way we count this is two, three, 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 four, 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 four. Got it? Like yeah, I girl. slacked on that big time, sorry. Way too I get like. mixed up with the kilos and pounds being back in the Any US. justification, yeah. <laughs> being back in the US for long enough. <laughs> I know, I need excuses. So I got the pump now, so now the t-shirt can come off. Okay, so second warm-up set, your first set. Yeah, okay. yeah, do it again. All right, we have Redo. a question from Facebook. DJ asks, what's your argument for fermented BCAAs versus the industry standard? The industry standard. Um, the industry standard basically is coming from a form and an extraction that I don't personally want in my body. So I go for a lot of fermented ingredients, whether it be my kefir, whether it be my sauerkraut, whether it be my kimchi, tempeh, because I want a higher bioavailability of that food without having a possible inflammatory response. The standardized way of taking BCAAs or glutamine or whatever can come from an animal product or human hair or bird feathers. And the way that it's extracted is with harsh chemicals a lot of the time. And I just don't want that harsh chemical where there could be a possibility, possibility of an impurity going into my system. If I can have the choice of a natural extraction and a plant extraction, I'm gonna go for the latter, you know? So uh, that's why. So we have a curl question from YouTube. Should I lower the weight so I don't have to swing, or should I just use a heavier weight? Good question. Swing? Yeah, so you use, use a lower weight. Sometimes it's do as I say and not as I do, because I will swing a little bit, but I've been doing this for a long time, and I know, personally, if I use a stricter form, as weird as this may sound, I find much more strain on my skeletal uh, system, so on my shoulder joints, on my elbows, I actually got my first gym injury, tearing my lat, uh, which was in the second workout of the four weeks to shred. I didn't tell anybody, didn't tell the videographer or any, any, anybody until the end of the, work, uh, end of the actual video series. But that was me training extremely strict on a reverse grip. And I thought, that's it, I'm not gonna go that strict anymore. I'll go relatively strict, but maybe towards the end, as I'm hitting failure, I'll swing it just a little bit, or I call it control cheating, just to get some more negatives. What about you? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for biceps is keeping a loose grip. That's my, you should be able to kind of keep a, because if you're like death grip, it's gonna take it out of your bicep and it's gonna take it more into your forearm. So I keep my like grip super loose. I don't, I don't swing, but I also, I don't like to let off full tension right here. Like I always, when I'm doing biceps, I keep the tension on the whole time. Yeah, but yeah, good call. Another... Because yeah, you don't want to hyper extend. Yeah, because then you tendon. like you relax it too, and it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because when you disengage and then engage again, that's an opportunity yes. to tear a muscle. Biceps take a lot of focus. You gotta like focus on what you're what you're lifting. Yeah. Well, for me. Yeah, exactly. And if you've got weaker wrists, you'll notice yep. that we're both wearing the straps. 
So, you know, strap up your wrists, you know, just help keep them straight as well. Are we going into it? Yeah. Another set? Okay. Yeah, I might got... have to go have. Uh... Yeah, that's the weight that you did before. No, I did 12 and a half before. Should I go 17? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell her what weight she should be doing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't, don't little girls well, do little I'm like, weights. I'm nervous you're going to kill me today with no, biceps. No, 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 I won't no, be able no, to get no. to This will the... be over and done with before you know it. Okay, okay. let's go. Whatever works for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike on Facebook asks, what advice would you give personal trainers or aspiring personal trainers that are trying to get on your level? On my level? Oof. Or you'd be going down. <laughs> you'd be going down a level. Um, my advice to aspiring personal trainers is, uh, I, it's weird, like I, I didn't get to, you know, I didn't start personal training thinking, okay, this is, you know, I'm going to try to work towards being in front of the camera or anything like that. I went to college for three years because I loved what I did and I was able to retain that, that content that I was uh, learning in order to become a personal trainer. I'd say the main thing is uh, to become a successful personal trainer to think about, to begin with, you're gonna have to completely babysit your client. It doesn't mean that you're with them for that hour in the gym. You should be messaging them just to check on them. You need to send them links to maybe some studies, some articles that would relate to them. So the whole time they're taking their mindset away from whatever out, outside distraction there is towards themselves. Because a lot of people will start, a lot of clients will start personal training, but the thing is they don't really want it bad enough themselves because they don't hold value within this vessel that we've been given. So the more that you educate your clients, the more they will understand the importance of themselves, they will feel better and then they'll start telling everybody else around them. And a lot of the time they don't have to tell everyone else because they're glowing so much that people are inspired why now all of a sudden they look better, their skin looks better, they look younger, they, you know, they've got more energy and they're a better person to be around. So Ian on YouTube asks, are there any vegan cage muscle supplements? Yes, so they're all vegan, except for your casing and your re-caged, because that's dairy-based. Yeah? No more questions? I, 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 can't get, I can't get more rest? One more. Well, we can go straight into it then. Okay, okay. all right. One more set then. One more set. Well, one more for me. I this know, is, maybe this I'll... Is, this is probably your start. <laughs> okay, let's do this. If in doubt, go heavy. Yeah, that's true. I was babying my wrist. Whoops. Oh. 
Oh, wow. You can keep going if you want. I might do one more set, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll do it while you're talking and answering questions. So this is for Leah. Yeah. Shout out to my Texas girl. How oh, does see. she deal with bodybuilding versus CrossFit? The rivalry. Oh, so my favorite question. I That's love cool. this question. Um, so you really have to know your body and you have to really, I mean, you gotta listen to your body. That's like the biggest advice I can give. Um, what I do is I alternate. So I do bodybuilding one day, I'll do CrossFit the next day, bodybuilding the next day. And it kind of depends if I'm competing in bodybuilding or if, if I'm competing in CrossFit, then I'll ramp up my CrossFit a little bit more or ramp up my gym training. Um, I would say the other thing is your diet. Like you got, you actually have to eat a lot to keep up with both. Um, it's, I mean, it's a lot more food than you actually think, um, especially for CrossFit athletes. Because as you're depleting for a bodybuilder, like of course you can, I mean, you can still hit the gym, but you don't need the like intensity, the explosiveness or the powerfulness you need for CrossFit. So that's a, that's a fine line. So best advice I can give is listen to your body. Be instinctive to a certain degree. Yeah. If it says take a day off CrossFit, Yep. Maybe go into the isolation bodybuilding, yep. hit that. And the isolation from bodybuilding has helped me so much with CrossFit. So it's, it's, there's huge benefits to both, and I know there's such a hatred between the two, but get over it because <laughs> there's such huge benefits to both. Are you going to tell them about next Tuesday? Oh, yeah, you guys the should plug. tune in. Yep. Well, we're doing, well, this is going to be for YouTube, though. It's not a live. Oh, YouTube. Unless then? we can yeah, get YouTube. a live somehow. Yeah. But we're going to do a CrossFit. YouTube video um, at Boise CrossFit on Tuesday. So, and I think it's at five. Five o'clock. Um, and Chris has done- Five o'clock mountain time. He's done CrossFit before, so he knows exactly what he's getting into, but I think they have something super special planned for us. To bring. <laughs> I won't tell you. This is scary. <laughs> but it's gonna be really good. All right, okay. Well, oh wait, I, we have another question. I, Chris, what is your number one tip for arms growth? Number one tip for arms growth. Oh, number one tip for arms growth for me, it's intensity and volume. I like to keep yeah. the rest periods very low. Generally, I'll su sometimes I'll superset. Oh, I'll set. Yeah, you go for it. Okay. Sometimes I'll superset biceps and triceps back and forth, back and forth. So immediately after doing a curl here, I could possibly go and do an overhead cable extension. I think for limbs, if you've got weaker biceps or triceps, which I definitely had and still have to a certain degree, volume and a very short rest period in between. I'm talking about 40, 45 seconds and a minimum of around 15 repetitions. 15 to 20 repetitions I find is a sweet spot. I like the same thing. I like a lot of volume. Yeah, yep. and lightweight. I know. I <laughs> All right, so ooh, the concentration curls next. Okay, we can do this standing up. So we've got concentration curls that we're going to be hitting next now. So we've done three sets there of around 15 repetitions. If I say that we're going to be doing this for like 15 repetitions, remember that is your guide. Doesn't mean if you can do 18, you stop at 15. You're supposed to be reaching absolute failure. The gym is a place where you have to fail in order to succeed on your physique. So now we're going to do a concentration curl. You can do this seated. I like to do it bent over. Okay, so I'll keep my back straight, have my back parallel to the floor, and I'll generally squat down, support myself on one thigh, and make sure that my, my humerus is always, that's the upper arm, is vertical the entire time. So I'll never come up like this, because that will bring in a little bit of rhomboids and traps. I'll make sure that the arm comes across to my opposite pec, like so. Y'all got it? It wasn't on your other leg? You weren't like this, right? You were yeah, hanging? Yeah, that's it. I don't support okay. my leg when I'm doing this. If I'm sat down, I'll support the back of my arm on my leg. Okay. But I'm not going to do that right now. Let me see what this there's weight feels like. There's a 30 right here. Yeah, I think I'll go for 30 to begin okay. with and see how that feels. Ugh. That will be my gauge. Okay, so we'll just start with the right arm. Wow, I'm 
picking just the right weight here. That was 15. Okay. Yay? Yep. Yay. Nathan from Facebook says, Hey guys, I just finished the eight week hardcore trainer. I feel like I'm doing everything right, but I'm not really growing or losing fat. Any tips or advice? Because he's not what? Growing. growing. Or, losing yeah, or losing fat. At uh, the end of the video series. Correct. How's okay. the diet? Spot on? Yeah, who knows? So what I always suggest to people, after you've done one of my programs, let's say the eight week video trainer, you shouldn't continue to diet. You need to back off a little bit because you've been calorie uh, gone on a calorie restricted diet for a little while, your metabolism can slow down, your thyroid be can, can become a little bit uh, more or less in inactive and your body's just not going to respond as it did during that short period of, because it's very harsh on your body. You get a lot of free radical damage, you get a lot of inflammation. So I always tell people to back off for about 10 days lower your cardio for a little bit, lower the intensity of your workout, start increasing the consumption of, say, fruits, some more carbohydrates and some healthy fats, and then go back into it, and your thyroid and your metabolism will be a little bit more refreshed to go back into it. So YouTube wants to know, can you talk about your fancy green socks? My fancy yes, green socks? Yes, we got a sock question. These are my pre-cage socks. <laughs> so I've got some pre-cage socks and in-cage socks. So uh, that, that's what I'm displaying here today. Aren't they fancy? What are the wrist straps you're wearing? What, are the, what purpose do they serve? So, so I've got some Jim Reapers wrist straps. I use their sleeves as well. I find they've got very good sleeves. And their wrist straps that I've got, Jim Reapers, it's a local company. Um, I, I use just to keep my wrist straight. So if I'm going heavier on the curls or if I feel like I've had a bit of strain, on my wrists over that particular time. So then I don't have to worry so much about my forearm grip strength either. You know, I can just work on that leverage because it's stable. What about you? Uh, chic? Why have, yeah, I don't know, chic? Yeah. Um, I mean, I use wrist straps in everything. I think there's a couple of reasons. Well, A, I have to have wrist surgery and I have torn all kinds of stuff going on. But um, when you're doing biceps, it takes this out of it, like you were saying, and it keeps your wrist more straight and focused on your biceps, so. Yeah, particularly good when you're bench pressing heavy as well to keep your wrist straight and yeah. not flop back. Uh, YouTube wants to know, where is your accent from? From Wales, from Wales. That little old place over in Europe, and it's not in London. <laughs> and I'm not Walish. Not a whaler? Huh? You don't, you don't go Welsh. What would you call yourself Welsh. in? Welsh. Welsh. Yeah. Welsh, yeah. So many people say, so are you Welsh? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's I feel it. like my legs were getting more of a workout. I was like, oh. Yeah? It's okay. Yeah. A little bit sore. <sighs> So you'll notice that I've got my, el my shoulder dropped down the entire time. I'm not squeezing it, I'm not swinging, I'm keeping that forearm vertical, uh, sorry, my humerus vertical the entire time. And what may help as well to help you get that mind-muscle connection is to look at the bicep that you're working as well. Sometimes when you look at it, it'll help you get that neuromuscular pathway into the bicep so you can contract it better and get a better pump. So we have a first time person who's just seen you for the very first time. Where can they find you on social? Socials. So my name is spelt Chris, K-R-I-S. Last name Gethin, G-E-T-H-I-N. Chris Gethin and? Leah Dolan, so L-E-A-H, and then Dolan, D-O-L-A-N. 
Can you explain a double drop set? Go for it. You go for it. You're you are the pro. Okay, so let's I like say, double drop sets. Let's say if I'm doing some curls now. I got some barbell curls. So what I'm gonna do, after I've reached absolute failure and I can't do any more reps, I drop that weight down. That's a drop set. Then I'm gonna pick up another weight. Lighter. Which is lighter to try to get out another, say 10, 15 reps, however many that guide is. Drop it and then pick up another. That's a double drop set. So a single drop, double drop set is when you do it twice. Kevin on Facebook asks, is it important to take protein before or after a workout? No, just after your workout. So before your workout, I take pre-cage, that's my pre-workout. I take it for about 40 minutes before my workout, then take in in-cage during the workout. Immediately after finishing this workout is when I take re-cage, that is my protein. Because you shouldn't take protein before or during your workout because your blood will then be in your stomach trying to break it down, even if it is a lighter protein. You want all the blood in your muscles to help them contract. You know, you want to fill it up with a pump. So leave your post-workout protein until immediately after your workout. Which one of your programs would you suggest for a person trying to lose weight, a beginner? I'd, I'd say uh, for a beginner, I'd say like the 12-week hardcore video trainer. The first one. So the Chris Gethin 12 week hardcore video training. You can find that on all access on bodybuild.com. Yay? Yay. Okay. Last set. You know what that is? I went heavier. Best set. That's cool. Wow. Let's do this. Okay. Switch to my left, I feel very uncoordinated. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh, that one was harder. I hit the spot. Yeah. Okay. Patrick on YouTube asks, when should you drink or take creatine? Take creatine. So I suggest that you take creatine about 45 minutes before your workout and immediately after your workout. And then on your non-training days, you can either take it throughout the day. I like to have a gallon jug where I put my creatine HCL in and drink that throughout the day with my hydrocharge glutamine. So it's kind of like I'm having a drip feed. But immediately, I mean about 45 minutes before my workout, I have pre-caged, there's creatine in that. And then immediately after the workout is when I take my protein re-cage and there's creatine in that as well. So your body's gonna uptake it that much more readily, obviously around your workouts. So that's when you should take it. On your non-training days, it doesn't really matter when, as long as you're drinking plenty of fluid so it can saturate the cell. So two questions from Facebook. How often do you train abs? And when will you, will, or when will you visit Wales again? When will I visit Wales? I'll be visiting Wales when I head on over to the UK for body power. So I'm gonna go over, see my grandfather, my little nieces, my parents and everybody. And uh, then in regards to abs, funny you should ask because I was saying to Leah before this started, let remind me I need to talk to you about training abs later because every CrossFitter I know, male, female, have the most amazing abs I've ever seen. They've got abs all year round, yep. but they don't do that much direct work. I train abs twice, twice a week. But, you know, given I don't really train them hard at all, I just go through the motion and I do it for like 10 minutes if that, just to say, yeah, I've done it. I'm <laughs> terrible at it. So I need to do something that is a little bit more intense, that takes you to absolute failure, that feels like I've got a good workout. So that's why I'm going to speak to Leah about a little bit later. It's, cause, it's because CrossFit incorporates all of your core. You're doing core with, I think, every movement. I can't think of a movement that you're not using your core. So especially the big compound movements, you need your abs all the time. 
Yeah. So So we actually don't I mean we do GHDs and sit ups in, in different wads, but as far as like isolation, it's huge difference from bodybuilding, just training abs. I, I think what I need is some sort of wad written out where you know, because I've seen people do it where they, you know, they, they do a sit up and then they push the ball against the, you know, or the wall and then go back down and then back yeah. up. Just different things like that, you know. I think yeah. I need to put something like that together. Okay. Uh, we right. have a question about creatine. I heard if you take creatine, like you have to be dedicated to it to get the full benefits out of it. You have to take it for the full. Like if you stop taking it, it's basically like pointless. If you miss a day, you're kind of resetting yeah. yourself yeah exactly so you have to be like, committed to it yeah you need to be taking it for at least 28 days they show you know yeah. studies have shown for it to saturate the cell whether you load it for the first seven to ten days or take it consistently for every single day of those 28 days the saturation point is exactly the same but yeah. you have to be exactly like leah said you have to be consistent right. every single day to have an effect all right, next exercise. So we okay. are going to move over yonder. Is this in your way if we do the high pulley curls? No? So, let me throw on a weight here. Probably go... Is this going to be too tall for me? 40 to begin with. I'll pass it, yeah? <laughs> let me grab that step. Okay. Uh... Okay, so I'll go first. It's going to be a little light. Can you put on to 50 for me, please? Well, I'll do it then. Yeah, you're going to... Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so high pulley curls. So I'm going to do it with uh, both of these hand attachments that I've got. And then because this is a little bit short, I'm going to take a step forward just to ensure that I can get full extension out of my arms here, okay? Then I'm going to turn my palms up towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to curl in towards my temples. What you'll notice, as you start to uh, fatigue, the elbows will want to draw forward. It'll want to bring your pecs into it. You've got to fight against that. Keep it very strict by keeping your elbows pointing back. So your elbows and wrists should be in line with your head, not forward of it. I'll just pull it in, contract for a second, and then back out. Contract. Look at those guns. And then back out. It's the only reason I'm doing it. <laughs> How long have you been training? Um, well, actually, Chris saw me when I was first training. What is that? I think it's been like, uh, I would say eight or nine, nine years. Maybe, maybe we're pushing ten. <sighs> yeah, but it was CrossFit, about probably 2008. Yeah, it'd be about ten, uh, ten nine, nine, years? nine to ten years. years nine to and ten I started years, yeah. in the gym first for a little while. So I think I started CrossFit in 2010, 2009. Yeah, that's about right. And when did you get your pro card? Uh, 2013. 2013. So Chris, YouTube asks, what's the difference between the 12 week hardcore and the 12 week muscle building trainers? The 12 week hardcore is specifically for people who want to lose fat and build muscle. It's a transformation program. The eight week muscle building video trainer is exactly as the title implies. It's just a focus mainly on muscle building. So of course you're not gonna have as much cardio in there. It's gonna be more calories. The diet and the nutritional profile is gonna be more versatile, more fats, more fruits, etc. So it's specifically for muscle building being the latter. Facebook asks, can you explain the difference, or can you explain your DTP principles? Okay, my DTP principle stands for Dramatic Transformation Principle. I came across this, you know, pardon the pun, via accident because I was dealing with a lot of uh, injuries, inflammation, and I started implying higher rep principles. So when I say higher reps, I'm talking about 50, 60 repetitions, and I'd keep those rest periods very low um, just so I could get through my training workouts because the, the pain that I was having in my bicep, tendons, my knees, my back, was stopping me from training extremely heavy, which I used to train very, very heavy. But training is very therapeutic for me. So as soon as I started doing those higher rep principles with lower rest, my body started to change for the better. So that's why I've become more of a volume trainer. So I'd start off with say 50 repetitions on an exercise, let's use barbell curl as an example. Then I'd rest for about 45 seconds and then do about 40 repetitions to failure. Rest, 
and then do 30 repetitions to failure, then 20, then 10. And then once I got to 10, I'd work my way back down, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's probably the most painful experience you're ever gonna go through, but the results show. Chris, what is on your necklace and does it mean anything? What is on my necklace? Yeah, it does mean a little bit of something. So it's like a Thor hammer, okay? And it's from Shield of Strength. So Shield of Strength, they're, they're good guys over there in Texas, and they have um, a lot of Christian religious meanings. And not that I'm, you know, huge into religion, but, you know, I do believe. And, you know, just, you know, just like I've got the reminders of a certain text on my tattoos, this is just another reminder. And I have the Kara here that I got from the Golden Temple in India. And that's, you know, another positive vibration that I like to carry on me, you know. Mine says CrossFit. CrossFit. Fitting. Of course. Also a religion. Um, so question from... Oh, hold on. Where'd it go? Okay. 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 Next one. Yeah. I changed your weights. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so Leah, you yes. can answer this one. Okay. If you could only afford three supplements to help lean muscle growth, what would they be? Um, I love Cage Muscle, their caffeine, because it's a, an organic caffeine and I take it before I do my cardio every morning and I love it. I think I've been taking it for a couple years now and it never fails on me. Um, so that's my number one supplement to lean out for cardio in the morning. And then I love, I also love the Clean Burn and um, I would think my other one is the Hydro Charge. Honestly, those are like my staples. I just started the Ferradrox, so I'm gonna see how that plays out. But You've been on yeah. that for two weeks now? I think it's pushing like three. I did up the dosage though. I upped it to two. Two? Yep. I know. Is that, am I gonna? No. I think two's good. Because you, you train hard. Yeah. You're, 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 you know, I always have to be careful when I say this to women. Yeah, you're, a, I, you're a bigger be woman. You're a bigger woman. <laughs> but you'll probably take that as a compliment, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I think so. so <laughs> You know, that's probably <laughs> going to be a little bit more fitting for you as well. You'll want to use that fury in the yep. gym anyway. Choose your words wisely. Yeah, I know. I have to be very wise with those words. Chris, can you talk a little bit more about your Ferrodrox? Yeah. And explain it. Ferrodrox. Here's Love something it. prepared earlier, I think. So I just, so I'm going to tell people how I take it. Right. I'm back in the shot. So this is Ferrodrox in case there's other people wondering what it is. So I actually take this before my workout. Even though it says on the bottle, take two in the morning, I actually take one in the morning and I take one before my workout as well. Everybody's different. I'm just being very particular. You can take two in the morning. So Ferrodrox helps support your natural testosterone levels. A lot of people you know, say test boosters or whatever. I like to call it testosterone support because what you'll find today People's testosterone levels have declined rapidly over the past 20, 10, 20, and 30 years. We are exposed to so many estrogenics now, whether it be the grains, the mold within our grains. We have these, these microtoxins that can be found in wine, beer, uh, chocolate, coffee, pretty much everywhere, which are highly estrogenic. And we don't get as much sleep as we once did. We've been exposed to our blue lights on our phone, our EMF rays. We eat out of so many more plastics than we used to, depending on what plastic it is. So these are good plastics, BPAs. You can look at the numbers. So one, three, and sevens are generally a better sort of numbers, you know? So this raises our estrogen levels. We as active and normal individuals that want to be healthy need to have higher testosterone levels and lower estrogen levels. So what we did was created over since 2015, been testing on uh, uh, different ingredients that would allow that to happen. So that's how Ferdrox came about. And we released it about four, four weeks ago now, and the reviews have been astounding. So really, really happy that it's uh, working for everybody. And I have a lot of females that ask me about it as well. So you're not gonna get anything weird from it or <laughs> I yeah. got a message the other day, is, I'm gonna grow hair on my face, and <laughs> I'm like, no. You're, no, 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 it's no. gonna balance your normal estrogen levels and testosterone levels. I actually did a live feed the other day because yeah. there is a lot of confusion yep. with, you know, can women take it, and can I take it with any supplement? You can take it with any supplement. Yeah, okay, we're good to hit more biceps.
This like is, that. This is your third, right? Third. Yeah. Third and last set. Whew. Okay, so one, one thing I was going to say is that I hold it for a second when I'm doing this, and then when I can't do any more, that's when I'll just stop pausing and just knock them out. Every set or just the last one? Pardon? Do you do that on every set? I do set that on just... every set. On there anyway. So Chris, we had a question. Would you recommend doing your DTP program after the 12 week hardcore program? Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you want to do that. Um, again, I suggest people to just take a week off first. You know, allow the inflammation in your joints and your body to recover, allow the free radical damage uh, that is built up in your body and your oxidization to kind of dissipate. Feed yourself with some more antioxidants, some fruits, some more carbohydrates, but especially healthy fats, and then go into it, you know, because you can't just keep pounding your body all the time. You know, I like to, I like to pound my body, but with different energy systems. So if I go high, and hard and intense with volume and machines, et cetera, one day, maybe I'll go lower repetitions and more compound free weights the next day, or I might just do a lot of intense cardio one day and do a lot of steady state the following day. What types of music do you listen to in the gym, both of you? Um, I actually have recently been really addicted to Fit Radio, which plays a lot of Fit like radio. DJ, oh yeah, it's the best. I love Fit Radio, sorry. Um, but they mix a bunch of different like dubstep and hip hop and like 80s and like rap and rock and all kinds of stuff and they make these just really long mixes and I love it. Okay, I'm looking at my library to see what I've got on right now. So, uh... You're like hardcore, like... Well, it all depends. So I'm going through an Onyx. Do you guys remember Onyx? I'm yeah. going through an Onyx phase at the moment because they came out with some good albums over the past two years. Really good, but they're never they're never going to be mainstream. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. So I'm listening <laughs> listening to that. And uh, what else have I got in here? I've got Jonathan Davis live from Corn. He's actually playing, I believe, tonight in Portland. Mm. Yeah, I won't be able to. And oh, I've also Limp Biscuit. No. 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 Oh, I like Limp Biscuit. I like Limp Biscuit. Yeah, no, I like Limp Biscuit. Can we get some hearts for Limp Biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> and in the uh, chat. I've got uh, Slipknot on here as well. I'm like a princess about the music that I listen to depending on what -E workout I'm doing. Like if it's cardio, if yeah. it's lifting, or if it's CrossFit, they're yeah. all If I'm doing weird. cardio yeah. or anything like that, I'm purely listening to audio books and podcasts. Oh, I don't know how that you do that. It. I'd fall asleep on the that treadmill. That is it, because I want to learn stuff while I'm yeah. out there doing it, you know? So, you know, I'll read a book yeah. or listen to a book a That's week. That's impressive. Well, it's the only way that, you know, to, if you, if you, if you, I find if you're active, if you've got a good blood flow to your brain during that time, I find I'm personally able to re retain that content better than, let's say, if I was on a plane. Make sense? What if you're like doing hit though, and you're like in that interval, and it's like your audio? Oh no, 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 oh. don't do it. No, more, more so steady state, or I'm oh, okay. out for hours or something like that. Yeah. Chris, are you visiting India anytime soon for any of your gyms? Uh, yes, I will be. Uh, I just don't have a date set as yet. I was speaking to my uh, business partner, Jag Chima, this morning. He's just gone from, he's, <laughs> I've got a bet on actually. I'm gonna tell everybody about this. So our gym in Jalanda is supposed to open, I've been told, it'll be finished by the 28th. And I said to Jag, I don't think it will be. He said, oh no, it will, it, uh, it will. I said, okay, let's put a bet on it. I said, if it is open by the 28th, if it's ready, I'll streak down the main streets of Boise. However, if it's not ready, you've got to do the same in Jalanda. And he agreed, wow. so there you go. <laughs> I'd better go out and get myself a Willy Warmer. <laughs> it's cold out there. That's my justification anyway. So we're done with that then. So we've got one more exercise, unless you're willing to ask me more questions. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain a willy warmer? A willy warmer, okay. Well, I actually had one of these oh. for Christmas, but I was so happy that it didn't fit. 
It was way too small. I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, Don't wow. send it back, I want to keep this. Uh, yeah, so basically you can actually get them online and they'll come like, they look like your, your grandmother knitted them, basically, you know, but we'll save that for another conversation. All right, so now what we're going to do is one exercise. I like to do this, especially on limbs. So I'll, I'll do this on quads sometimes as well, where, okay, I'll go onto the hack squat and go, okay, I'm going to do 100 reps. I don't know how I get there, but I've got to get there. Maybe I'll have to break it up into sets of like 15 until I get there, or maybe sets of 30 until I get there. So we're going to do that with biceps now with a barbell plate. I am picking myself up a heavyish one here, 45 pounds, and I'm going to hold it with a neutral grip and I'm going to curl. Now, whether I get 15 reps or whether I get 30 reps, I don't know and I don't care, but I'm going to rest for about 10 seconds, then pick it up again and go. Rest for 10 seconds. Once I reach failure, pick it up again and go. So I'm going to do that until I reach 100. So everyone's going to have to be very quiet because I can't count to 100, I don't think. <laughs> so I'm going to have to concentrate. No audio books on this one. Okay. Do you put your grip. hands in it? I like, oh, I kind of like yeah, it in it. It's going to be okay. hard. Okay, let's okay. go. What? That's all I got. Liz kicking my ass here. Okay, wait, yeah, that hurt. Now it hurts. Oh, 60. 43, I got. What's happening over there? You okay? Do you want to take a question? You need a water break? You can take a question. What are the advantages of a superset versus a drop set? Um, I just think mixing up the variance of it, so mixing up the tempo and just mixing things up. Honestly, I think they both have benefits to both. Um, I think. I would say if you want to do more of a building and gain strength, I would do more of a drop set. But super set is just to get in there and hammer something out and get the burn in there going. Is that a hit the, what is that? Just trying to stretch out these <laughs> massive biceps. What do I have? I have 40 left. What do you got? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. Chris, what was the most recent audiobook you've read? Most recent audiobook? Um, I'm listening to uh, The Principles of, uh, of uh, Success by Jack Canfield. He did, I think that, that's his name, isn't it? Jack Canfield. He did all the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. So just finished uh, his. And now I'm currently listening to one called Chew Slowly. <laughs> And it's all about this uh, person who's written a lot about the psychology of eating and being more present in the moment whilst eating because Americans generally go by the time instead of their body clock and they won't stop when they're full. They will actually stop when the plate's empty, which is a very vast comparison to a lot of Europeans, specifically French, that they've done a lot of, uh, a lot of studies on. So I find that fascinating at the moment because I tend to eat a little bit too fast. I need to slow down a little. Do I get a pound? Yeah. Are you done? Oh, you're done, no. Oh. I'm like nowhere near. You're nowhere near? Oh. Leah. Yeah. 
did you say you do audiobooks or do you do podcasts? No, I don't Anything. do audiobooks or podcasts. I was trying to do the podcasting for a while, but my attention span is about <laughs> three seconds long. So, <clears throat> yeah, that I should work on that though. Ooh. I should read. Dubstep. Dubstep, exactly. Dubstep. Exactly. Read dubstep. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. No podcasts. Oh, I love podcasts. No. I, live, I listen to Dave Asprey's podcast. Ben Greenfield's podcast. But when? When I'm doing cardio. I, I, or, or, some, or if I'm driving, like when I drove here, I was listening to a podcast. Yeah. I, I love it. I, I love it. think about uh, work. Tim Ferriss has got a good one. Uh, God, what's Tom, Tom Bilio's, you know, who used to own Quest, his podcast. Oh, he has one? Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, Rich Roll, I like Rich Roll's podcast. We're st still going. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> Come on, there you go. Okay. That's it? That's good? That is it. That is it. Boogie. It is done. It is done. It is done. Okay, yeah. So that's an intense workout. Yeah. That was done in how, how many minutes? Probably about 40, 40 minutes, 45. Yeah. Do you usually do biceps alone? Mm, uh, sometimes sometimes I do. Sometimes yeah. I hit it with back. Sometimes I hit it with triceps. I just change things up a lot of the time. Sometimes I go to the gym, I don't even know what I'm going to train until yeah. I get there. That's what I'm like now. But I yeah. like it. I don't like being forced into, I need to do four sets of 10 of lat pull downs. And if you start them and you don't feel like it, just move on to the next. Yeah. As long as I get all my body parts in during the week, it doesn't matter to me that much. I just like to train because I like it. So a lot of it's instinctive. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, it. Where, where can they find you on social? Ah, okay. On social. So if you guys want to follow me at all, you can follow me, Chris, K-R-I-S. Gethin, G-E-T-H-I-N, on Instagram, on Facebook. I also have a Twitter page, which is Caged Muscle, K-A-G-E-D, Muscle, M-U-S-C-L-E. And y'all can hit me up there and uh, ask me with any other questions. But in the meantime, let us know if you want us back here and what you'd like us to train and cover next time. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, what about you? Leah Dolan, IFBB Pro is my Instagram, and that's kind of mainly where I live. I kind of gave up everything else. Yeah. I don't tweet. I'm a little bit on Facebook, but yeah, Leah Dolan, IFBB Pro is my Instagram. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Peace so that's out. it. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Until next time, smash your biceps. <laughs>